Hello everybody and welcome back to the SB Gameplay channel and to another episode of The Outer Worlds. We last left off here in engineering. Yeah, I believe so. Engineering, yeah. We still gotta talk to Gladys. Why do we have to talk to Gladys? Eh, let's take a quick look at the journal. <laughs> Oh, we need to buy something from Gladys. Yes, that big giant $10,000, 10 bits. Oh, man. We got a bunch of companion quests. And one of them is to meet up with, uh, the I guess, the engineering. Uh, Junlei Tennyson, Captain, whatever. So why don't we do that? And then when we come back, we can go go from there. Auntie Cleo's. Hearty greeting, potential customer. Welcome to Auntie's Kitchen, a home-style consumable protein dispensary. This unit dispenses proteins for your ingestion. Oh my gosh, it's like Soylent Green. Uh, well, it's not. It's not. It's not Soylent Green, but it's whatever this is. Is it's probably not good. Let's see what you got. Aren't you just a glorified vending machine? Yeah. This unit is programmed to simulate shock at such assertions. <laughs> shock simulation non-functional. A trouble ticket has been filed. Oh, God. Let me take a look at that. Maybe I can fix it. Yeah. Shock simulation restored. Initiating shock subroutine. How dare you? Shock subroutine complete. Estimated guilt level of customer increased by 35%. Resuming protein dispensation protocol. May this unit dispense proteins for your ingestion. Oh, Lord have mercy. Okay, let me see what you got to trade. Beginning dispensing sequence. Please unblock all relevant facial protein ingestion tubes. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Thank you. Greasy. Oh my gosh, what kind of a name is that? Greasy. Have you seen this man? Reward offered for information leading to the capture of noted terrorist Vinny oh. Wells. Report okay, no thank you. Alright, so let's um... Let's head to the engine. Whoa, it is warm down here. You guys are this cooking. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Do you have what it takes to defend... I thought there'd be more machinery. Must be housed on a sub-level. I could spend all day in here and not have looked at half the best stuff. It's all pretty worn, though. All right, let's talk to Junlei Tennyson. Junlei Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. So she is the captain. And I guess chief engineer too. Uh, I'm Sunny Boy. <laughs> nice place you've got here, Chief. No, it isn't. It's a mess. But it's my mess, so I'll take the compliment. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. Uh, I'll do whatever I can to help you keep the peace. Or, I'll try to start my... I'll try not to start any fights, but I might have to end with some. I don't know about that. I'll try to keep the peace. Good. Don't go making trouble, and chances are you won't find any. That's how I like it here. So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. Yeah, I'm just passing through. Now that's my ship out. Now that my ship's out of impound, I can safely say I'm headed for Marnart. Um, is that what we want to say? Or do we want to say, none of your business? Or we could say, um, just passing through. <laughs> Let's just give this one here. Interesting. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different. 
Thanks. Welcome aboard. Holy cow. Parvati, you want to talk to Jun Lei? Go ahead. Do we want to, to talk? Here's, here's, the, here's a quest. I'm assuming this is a quest. Okay, why don't we let Parvati talk because Parvati wanted to meet Jun Lei Tennyson. What? I didn't think you just... Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? I was just thinking. I haven't got much experience working with actual, real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. No need to be so formal, Parvati. Well, let's nudge her. Um, okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if, well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe? I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. I don't want to say anything. Let's, let's encourage her. Wow, great. I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh, your, your name's pretty too. I should have said sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry. <laughs> Poor buddy. Ah, Lord. Whisper, nice job, Parvati. I hope this doesn't block us out. Nice job, Parvati. Couldn't have done it without your moral support, Captain. Now, if there's nothing else, there are other parts of the ship begging for my attention. Yes. But you had problems. What's going on? Groundbreakers' radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. Why haven't you fixed them yet? I'm sure your capable staff can stay ahead of the problem. Only the board has access to new parts. Oh, and man. And I won't let them swindle me into a corner. Is there no room for compromise? Surely the board doesn't want Groundbreaker to roast. Is there no room for compromise? None. Every time I give in to the board, Groundbreaker loses its freedom. Soon there won't be anything left. I can't allow that. Hang in there. The board isn't helping and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone aboard, will be cooked alive. Ugh. Uh, we can do some intelligence and say, you need a contractor to work this out. I'm available for a reasonable rate. Yes, I like that. Let's do that. We can make some money. Reasonable, huh? That's the best news I've heard all day. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back bays. Got it. I'll take care of that right now. The back bays? Am I supposed to know where that is? Sorry, I forgot not everyone knows this ship like I do. The back bays are on a lower deck, long abandoned and a haven for miscreants now. How can you leave your ship abandoned with... Oh my gosh, that doesn't make any sense. Um, you can't get these parts anywhere else? Can we try to talk this out with the whosoever is down there? Oh man. See that question right there tells me we gotta fight our way through it. Okay. Have you tried sending anyone else down there to get the parts? I have. One of my engineers plus a small security detail. They didn't come back. Oh. I can't afford to lose any Mardits on this job. No offense, but a freelancer like you is more dispensable. Thank you. Why so protective? Mardits are descended from the original Marine Detachment that crossed the void with Groundbreaker. I don't put their lives on the line if I can avoid it. Mardets, so they are Marine, a uh, Marine Detachment. Mardets. Okay. I'll get you those parts from the back bays, or you can't get these parts anywhere else. You must not have been here long. In Halcyon, new parts come by way of interstellar freighters from Earth, and the board monopolizes that kind of trade. Oh. That means I'd have to negotiate <clears throat> with the board. I've already given them the shops, the docking fees, and a damn embassy. So I think at this point, a lot of stuff we're going to be dealing with is being controlled by the board which means we're not going to get much so we're going to have to just assume to do these things to help these local outlier folks their negotiations sound like a bureaucratic coup 
Damn right. And while I'm captain of the Groundbreaker, it falls to me to preserve this ship's independence. All right, I'll get you those parts. Or couldn't we try to talk them? No, let's not talk. I'll try to get you the parts. Good. Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next phase of repairs. All right. Come on, folks. Oh, what in the world? Oh, we can't steal that. I don't want to know your story. Okay, we don't want to go to the Groundbreaker. Happiness is a warm ship. All right, let's do this Remember one. Remember Auntie Cleo, because she remembers you. When you were sick, who took your temperature? Oh, here's this. I was looking at this elevator. I was going, okay, where does this go? I guess it goes down. All right, you two, you ready to go? Vicar, you look like you're wearing a dress. Do a quick save. Okay. Hey, McRed, were you expecting any company? Oh. A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Back away now, or he'll parley with the king. Look at this ripe piece of meat just sizzling on the grill. <laughs> yum, yum. Time to feed the flames. It's nothing personal. Promise. Is this what carbon monoxide poisoning looks like? I don't think this deck is too well ventilated. Uh, speaking for myself, Captain, I am not of a mind to be murdered by a psychopath who plays with fire. You came with the crew. Welcome. We got plenty of space to spread out, but only room for one captain. Oh, I can't persuade him because he's too high, but I can intimidate. You're only getting out of this alive if you play nice. I just want... I'm just exploring the ship and stumbled on this level. It's nothing personal. I'll just be going. Uh, let's, see, let's see if we can intimidate. Let's see. <laughs> Ooh, look at the courage on this one. Lay it on me, boss. Give me a taste of that fiery primal spirit. I'm here for some parts. Junla sent me. No, that's not. That might cost me. I'm just passing through. Can I go? Passing through? This is dead end territory. But you talk like you're on a journey. The path matches your step, stretches out ahead of you. Yeah. The second floor is my place. Off limits to the likes of you. Whatever business brings you down to my domain, keep it local. Oh my goodness, thank goodness. I didn't want to have to fight. Okay, let's do a, <laughs> let's do a quick save. I don't, I don't want to have to fight these guys. Oh, look. Hidden, hidden space. I can pick this. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, the engineer. And the security detachment is, t oh, that guy almost, that almost ripped me a, a new one for trying to. Oh man, these are all outlaws. Even the proverbial unwashed masses would turn their noses up at this place. Or turn them off. Careful with that shit. You'll end up as crazy. Crazy Calm down, guys. Crazy Calm down. Cosmos. Let's do a quick save so I don't make a mistake. Not another step in direction, friends. Calm down. Okay, so this whole area is... 
Whoa. That's a serious machine there. Scrap mechanical. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I think we've covered most of this. Let's head back to that one little open spot. And let's see. Or this just goes here. You get that auto mech patch? I'm afraid I left it up and running. I'm trying to think of a good name before I wake it up. Oh, they all went hostile on me. Yep. I think we're we're screwed. Well, we could hide in here and shoot our way out. Yeah, they're all hostile now. Huh? What was that? Incoming. Body, get in here. Well, she's down. Okay. Oh, man. Whoa, that was powerful. Okay, that tells me. Easy does it. You get that auto mech patch? I'm afraid once it up and running. I'm trying to think of a good name before I wake it up. Don't give it a name. What are you thinking? It hasn't got a heart? Not like us. Okay. I don't know if that guy shot me from here or I got shot from behind. But clearly. Okay, hold on. Yeah, it's pretty dangerous. There's not much cover. Nope, there's no... Okay. Let's get this ball rolling. Okay. I'm going to go back into that little hole and see if I can survive uh, God, this gun is crazy.
Cover me, boys. Get back inside. Oh, jeez. Girl. That's a powerful gun, but it spends ammo like It pushes through ammo fast. Oh, Parvati. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Our body's down. And there's a there's crazy mech. Taking everything. Captain, you're right. Get past that armor. Okay, hold on. Gotta go to heavy weapons. That heavy? That's light. There we go. Let's go to heavy armor. I mean, not heavy armor, heavy weapons. We'll get past it slowly, but we'll get past it. Calm down. Whoa. Alive. Sorry, I put you guys through that. <laughs> this is why I don't like companions. <laughs> because I, I, I invariably killed them all. Okay. <sighs> that was very messy fight. Oh my gosh, I just blasted this guy's head off. Okay, I'm probably gonna run out of space here in real sh short order. Well, I took care of the, uh, oh my gosh.
Sorry, uh, <laughs> sorry, poor buddy. <laughs> Ah, Lord have mercy. Wow, there's body parts all over the place. Okay, so we took care of the problem down on this level, all the bandits and stuff. So let's finish looting, and then we'll make our way to the rest of the area. I mean, I guess I'm not stealing, right? This is now all... all All leftovers for us to loot. That's disgusting, man. Well, I burned through a ton of rounds. Uh, let's just go to this cheapy round. Oh, can't go that way. Junlei, you run a very sloppy ship here, man. This place is... Dude, there's still baddies here, man. Oh, there was a... I could have exploded that. Steal mock apples. What is a mock apple? I'll take it for just for resale values. Anything? Oh, look at that. Junior Mycologist Blog. When I settled on Groundbreaker, I thought this would be my ghetto gateway to the stars. The beginning of my epic tale as a spacer. Now I grow shrooms for a bunch of outlaws. Ugh, not even for selling. They just eat the dumb things by the handful. Some of the crew have been tripping for weeks. Suppose it could be worse. Heard of a sublight contractor who got dissolved in chemicals and flushed down waste treatment for s stealing from Li Lilia. Now McReed's, he'll always have, now McReed, McReed, he's always happy to see me. Calls me his fungus lad. Update. McReed just set a man on fire for having his laces undone. Crap. Crap, 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 crap. Maybe I need to be more careful about what I'm growing. Got to find something that calms him down. Time to experiment. Well, these guys are just shrooming it down here. Okay, none of this stuff is harvestable. That was. Oh, what is that? A plasma cutter. I'll take it. I'm gonna be selling all this stuff or breaking it down. Yeah, I had some explosive devices in here. I could have. I could have shot open. Okay. See, this doesn't go nowhere. Unless. Oh, stop doing that. Was there a door here that I missed? Nope, there's no door. Everything's sealed off. There's a gun down there. I'll take it. OK. 
Okay, let's do a quick inventory check here. I don't need this stuff, so I'm gonna I'm going to let's take a look see here. How much I'm at seventy four hundred credits. So I can break this down. I'm gonna break all these handheld stuff down. Um, yeah, because these are, I don't, I'm not a melee guy. I don't do melee. Oh, look at that, a sniper rifle. Hmm. This is heavy weapons. Maybe I should actually be carrying heavy weapons. Instead of light. This uses light, this uses light, this uses heavy. This might, if I start using this, it'll probably suck down all my heavy ammo. Um, this, this is a long gun, this is a rifle. It uses light ammo. That's heavy. That's plasma. This is light. Okay, let me switch it for that one. Okay, I got a bunch of rifles here, so let's let's uh, let's break it down. Break it down. Yes, 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 yes. Break it down. Yes, 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 yes. Did, what else did I pick up? Ooh, look at this. 9, 14, 21. Vented Mark Three helmet. Inspiration plus three. This, what is this? Is a hack plus five. This is nine. Block five. I don't know. Melee inspiration. So I get my bonus with the uh, with the companions. Okay, here I got some codex I want to clear out. Might as well clear it out. Okay, Parvati. Can she use a better suit? What is that? Six. Actually, no, I like her suit. It's this weird looking outfit. What's his name's got? Water resistant wear. Oh. I should break. It's too bad I can't make that junk. He's got a seven. Let's put that on him. No, let's. Okay, let's go back to the our our character and change it out. And the fourteen. Parvati. I'll get you. I'll get you a better helmet. And what did Vicar Max? What did he have? He had a nine. All right, so we have a lot of junk here. We should uh, either sell or whatnot. Okay, sorry, one more thing. Let's take a look at the weapons. Oh, I should have kept those other weapons. Hmm. Okay, so she has a light machine gun. I'm wondering, should I give her heavy? Let's, let's swap her out with a heavy machine gun. Is light. What about Vicar Marks? Vicar Max here, Vicar Marks. Um, let's leave him with a rifle. With the rifle, okay. Okay, 
Okay, there's a second floor here, so let's let's climb up. Oh, it's just another pathway. An alternate pathway. Today's my birthday. Oh yeah. Fuck your birthday. Shh. Won't get any mercy oh, from me. Shines on us today. Oh my gosh, this is a shotgun. And it okay, let's, I mean look at that again. That thing is It's a light. I need to get a I need to get to a uh I need to get to a uh a table. Show her these. Right <laughs> over here. Let's keep finishing the loot. Loot run. So cozy. Yeah, take that. Take it so we can sell it. Wow, this is like this is very much like our own ship, the the Hope. I guess this is where all the people used to be stored, the sleeping folks. Yeah, see, hiber hibernation, hib hibernation sleep. All right. Anything back here? Nope. Nope. So we went up here already, right? Oh, no, there's another down door right here. What the? Go ahead, girl. Nothing at all. <laughs> Nothing at all. Intimidate. Listen. I don't have time for this. Why is there an out uh an engineer? Is she private lit Litty Dixie? I oh, haven't seen any new faces down here since I arrived. Not sure how long ago that was. McGred tends to incinerate anyone who comes by. Oh, you're one of them. McCreed's dead. Oh, that's too bad. I mean, he was a scary fucker, total pyromaniac, but... You know how it is. You meet a guy, get used to his quirks, and then blam. Ugh, the language. I came to grab some radiator parts. Engineering could use your help installing them. I'll get back to my post. See you topside, stranger. So she came down here to pick the parts and got, I guess, got... Nice. Okay. I'm just gonna loot everything. Oh, look at that spaceship. What? That was a little toy or something. Ooh. I should take it all and just sell it. Probably gonna gonna be encumbered at some point. Okay. All right, let's get out of here. Did I get everything? 
Now what about this side? Oh no, I got this side already. Yeah, I think I got everything. Didn't want to have to go to town like that, but... Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, duh. Let's, let's put that away. Alright, let's head into engineering. Get them to fi fix this, this heating oven. London. And then we can do some inventory. You've returned, and in one piece. Color me impressed. I got the parts for the radi radiators. What now? Good work. I'll take those. I need you to head through the large door at the far end of engineering. Take the elevator down into the machinery shaft. There's a terminal in the back. Activate it when I call over the ship's PA. And bring weapons. There's a slight manticular infestation. Oh. I'll make my way down there now. Okay, let's see. Slight. What do you mean by slight? More than a few. Less than a hive. Nothing you can't handle. We were salvaging parts from a ship. Turned out there were eggs inside. They got into the radiators, and here we are. Bunk. I got your parts. Why do I have to go on to the maintenance shaft? Okay, I don't. I, that's kind of crazy. Let's. Uh, this is the way the game says. <laughs> I'll make my way down there. Don't worry, Miss Junlei. We'll be super gentle with the ship. You don't got a thing to worry about. I mean, aside from fires and such. I'm genuinely heartened to hear that. Thank you. All right. Oh, she has a terminal right here. Let's do a quick look. Messages. This is from Bedford U. That's Udom Bedford to, to Chief Junlei Tennyson. My dear lady, the implications of your accusations cause my breath to hitch in my throat. I am certain that we can arrive at an agreeable understanding. For what is a board liaison if not a facilitator of handshakes between great powers, much like the board and yourself? When you do decide to return to the negotiation tables, Consider once again the embassy expands plan expansion plans I laid out. Gestures of good faith do not go unpaid. Udon Bedford, certified liaison. From Tennyson to, to Udon, obstructionist. The board rejected my request for new radiator parts. Again, uh, even after I greased their wills with some targeted donations. Funny thing. When I used my admin privileges to survey the outgoing comms, I noticed some activity from your office. You choose your words carefully, but I plucked a juicy phrase from the transcript. Let the frog boil a while longer. And now I have no radiator parts. You're playing with our lives. Did they install you on my ship just to get under my skin, or are you pulling this crap for fun, JT? June, let's take a look at her personal files. Um, back bays. More complaints about the st state of the back bays. The bays. I already told the Mardets they're free to flush out McGreed and his outlaws. There's not, they're so knotted up seeking warrants and paper justification that they want someone else to solve all their problems off the record. Sorry, boys. Not my job. Oh, my goodness. The Mardets are lazy. Morale has, this is the groundbreaker captain, morale has dipped 18% since Martin Callahan showed up. It's that darn mask. <laughs> oh, jeez, I didn't think I know who they're talking about. Found another listening device in my office. Thing was the size of a toss ball with this cord leading all the way back to the sublights. Subtle as always, L Lilia. Could have sworn the auto mechanical chef arrived with the company tech. No record of the guy leaving the station. We'll have to look into it. Oh no. I hope they didn't 
the mechanical didn't kill it like it did the, the mechanicals at that other place. Um, sprite infestation at the rest and go is getting out of hand. Ethel better not be reaching those critters, ranching those critters again. Or I swear by law, I'll airlock her stall. Whoops. Let's go back. Whoops. There's another one. Daily checklist. Radiator tamp, plumbing, oh, all that stuff she has to take care of. Oh my gosh, can't escape out of that? I got a tab, tab. All right. The next task. This is Halcyon News. I don't want to hear Halcyon News. Happiness is warm. Okay, so we, we got to get this. We regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Do you have a Three shifts without notice. I was fixing that toilet. All right. Really in jail, Mr. Max? And you were our vicar? Yes, but as I've repeatedly said, I was assigned to the vicar. I was not a prisoner. I just can't believe you'd lie. I was not lying. If nice one, Captain. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Vicar. Oh my gosh, what the heck is Where this? Were we? I was not lying. It had no bearing on my ability to minister to my flock and was therefore not worth mentioning. It's a big giant bug. Well, that wasn't so bad. Oh, uh, wasn't so bad. Okay. I can't run up the... <laughs> oh, jeez. You gotta remember, I have to... I have to activate. Okay, let's let's loot while we... We have opportunities. Before we open that door. Anything back here? Yes, there is. The heck? Did I get too close to some fire? Oh yes, this thing is piping hot. I actually took damage. Good news, strong health in the security mechanicals booted up and killed a bunch of mantis. Bad news, diagnostic says their circuit boards are fused from the heat, so they're not too picky about who they kill next. Sneak fast if you can. Shoot back if you can. Unexpected beginning. Alright, let's go to work here. Inside here, no, nope. Okay, let's keep let's keep going. Here they come. Wow, takes a lot of ammo to take those guys out. You know what? There was a rifle. Yes, there it is. System. Searching for unauthorized persons. Wow. 
Whoa, the thing went, went the thing went live on me. We were destined to prevail. Thank you, Victor Mac Max. Oh man, these guys. That's the terminal. I have the parts of the on my side. Go ahead and cycle the droplet pumps. And if you don't know what that means, just look for a command that says cycle droplet pumps. Okay, so that goes to that room. These are all explosive. Man, there's a lot of them. I'm just looting. Looting everything. Okay. Do a quick save. Alright, cycle. Let's take a look at the logs real quick. Um, cobbled together. Fluid circulation pump terminal. The staff is getting restless. Work around and hack. Half cock solutions are all we've got to mend groundbreakers bones. In many cases, we can't revive one system without cannibalizing another. Grandma lived with the reality, and so will I. I can rally our spirits. But what happens when I'm not around? Ground, groundbreakers' real test will be seeing if our independence last, outlasts me. I'll take that bet. JT found some of Chief Guiying's old schematics. Groundbreakers must have taken a beating during the crossing because she spent half of her career patching it up. A lot of corners cut when they put this place together. Among her papers, I've also found the layout of a hangar that doesn't match any of my docks, something that might have gotten sealed off along the way, like blood cells isolating in an infection. I hate to put sentiment down in print, but every time I open a panel or find some workaround in the guts of this old bird, it's like I can feel you reaching out to me from the past, Grandma. JT. All right, let's cycle those droplet pumps. And we fix the radiators. All right. Groundbreaker breaker does owe us some thanks, but we're gonna be humble and not talk about it, right? Okay, so we went all the way around, went up all the way around, back down. Okay, so this is our way out. Weird that they have an animation. I could have just run off. Oh, mantis swarm. Oh, there's another one here. Archive log and transmissions. Archival, sorry, arrival confirmation. The HHB Earth HQ transmitted via probe archived at source. It is my honor to report that Groundbreaker has successfully arrived at the Lagrange Point, having released our cargo of prefab housing, settlers, and supplies at their intended colony worlds. May they prosper and expand. Now that stages one and two of the missions have been carried out, my family will take ownership of the Groundbreaker as specified in our contract, keeping the ship in active duty as an independent trading post, repair stop, and cargo bay. I'd be remiss if I closed this transmission without sending my hopes and best wishes back to Earth. There's so much ahead of us, but we'll never forget what we left behind. Chief Gui Ying. A stern reminder. Some very rich and unsavory elements among our colonial neighbors seem to have the wrong idea about why I flew us out here. It wasn't for a nine-figure blood money salary and a spacer's choice logo stamped on my rear end it wasn't to nickel and dime passing ships out of their last bits groundbreaker has no role in the success or failure of halcyon's corporate entities period i negotiated i negotiated that understanding and clearly outlined it in the writing before i ever step set foot on this ship if anyone wants to dispute or compromise our independence they will answer to Tennyson. 
We're a family operation. Even when the last Tennyson Falls groundbreaker will remember us and defend its freedom accordingly. Chief Gui Ying. Mm. Tab, tab. All right, so we got that little history lore there. So let's get out of here. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it's like those cats. Oh, man, I was waiting for them to appear, and all of a sudden they appeared. You got that music going there. All right, let's go cheap. Speak to Chief Tennyson. If you came to report the Admiral leak on six, we know. My boards are returning to green. What a weight that is off my shoulders. I don't normally tolerate outsiders mucking about in my station's guts, but you're all right. The temperature should be dropping as we speak. I'll see to it the crew knows who kept us all from boiling alive. If you've got time, I believe Edna has a comms issue that could use your attention. I've also authorized Doc and Furu to sell you our premium meds. Excellent. Ah, uh, what it's like being a command around here. Uh, you don't have a lot of faith in the board. We'll be on our way. So now clearly we know she doesn't have any faith on the board. Faith in the board, sorry. What's it like being in command? Frustrating. Everything down to the circuit boards is past warranty, so I have the pleasure of making life or death decisions on a shoestring budget. Plus, there's no time to train my successor or document fixes in a way that anyone outside the family would understand. This ship's a family business, huh? Parvati here could always help you shoulder the burden. Yeah, if I guess if Parvati wants to help her. Oh, gosh. I don't know. Hmm. I'm really just a, a dab hand with a wrench. Nothing special. Not like a chief engineer. Don't sell yourself short. It doesn't take a seasoned pro to tinker on Groundbreaker. Just someone who knows how a ship ought to feel. We're always thirsting for help. If you could find your way around this labyrinth of ducks and panels, we could work something out. All right. Aren't you, yeah, that's a good question. Aren't you a little young to be training a successor? You see any bite-sized Tennyson children running around? I didn't think so. The next captain won't have my heritage. I'll have to foster that talent from somewhere. It's only a question of when. All right. So this is a family business. Sure is. The Tennysons came over on the Groundbreaker. My grandmother, Chief Gang, kept it together during the crossing and until she died. I was promoted only recently, when my mom died. Then I took the leap from Chief Engineer to Captain. They must have been amazing people to have taught you all you know, I mean, which is a lot. That means a lot coming from a fellow engineer. Was it a big change from transition to command? Or condolences, Junlei. I'm sure those those were some big shoes to fill. Appreciate it. There wasn't much that took me by surprise about the job, but the little things you never expect or think about, they add up over time. Maybe you can see why I'm protective of Groundbreaker. This ship is family. It's got tinkerings and bypasses that only Tennyson's know about. Where's the self-destruct mechanism? What? <laughs> is there a self-destruct mechanism? Where's the self- I hope that was a joke, Captain. I really do. I gelded that thing years ago. Now it brews a stin that goes down stronger than Nan or Spank. Oh my gosh. Family recipe. Okay, I shouldn't have asked that. What the heck is a Nan or Spank? <laughs> Family recipe. Okay, I don't even want to know. Okay, back to back You've to other questions. Attention. Um, yeah, we already know that. Yes, level ten. So we completed the quest. She stands facing the dark side. All right, so this is Halcyon News. We Let's take a quick look at our, our, uh, we still need to, the main quest is to get some enough dough. Oh, look, I got 10,000. Look at that. Oh, man, but I'm going to, can't spend it all on, hmm. 
they say you can actually have another path. They mentioned it quite frequently. Worst contact. What is this one? Talk to Ellie. Oh, I, I guess I still got to talk to Ellie. Your Let's go to the hospital. Talk to Ellie real quick. <laughs> Ethel Gabler. If you're hungry, you've come to the right place. I've got a fresh ground batch of Spratwurst cooking. Ooh. They're terrified to lock in the juices. How about a grinder's dozen? Uh, I'll just excuse myself. What? Okay, oh my God, I don't really want to ask. What is sprat worse exactly? You know what sprats are? Oh, space God. rats. Space rats. The laboratories of Spacer's Choice found a use for this limitless frontier resource. Oh, Lord. Sprat meat is plenty tasty when properly prepared. We grind them up in sausages, then terror fry them in their own juices. Oh, this conversation. <laughs> I don't know if I want to carry this conversation forward. Is Spratwurst like Borstwurst? I've seen that a lot. Absolutely not. Spratwurst, in all related terms, are registered trademarks of Spacer's Choice. Boar, the other meat, is a registered trademark of CMP. Everyone knows our company and theirs are nothing alike. Oh, my God. What does Terra Fry mean? That's a good question. Terra Frying is a Spacer's Choice brand secret. A mix of 13 herbs and spices, plus a dash of modern chemistry. Oh. Your own or, or what? Legally? No. The Terra Frying method was developed and marketed by Spacer's Choice. Between you, me, and this grinder, I've been through lean times. If there's one thing you learn on tramp freighters, it's how to make near anything edible. Might be that this old space hand put a few words in the right ears, and could be that Spacer's Choice liked sticking it to C and P by R and Ding our own special meat. Oh man, that's enough for now. Just as well, near about time for me to go check on the trap. I mean, to unload another crate of farm fresh sprats. Okay, slip the slip of the tongue. I I'll excuse myself. <laughs> oh my goodness! I just now noticed that. Oh goodness gracious! I don't. That's just nasty. You were trying to stop. Eh, put a couple of bits. Sublight salvaging. Oh, I gotta go up there and talk to that lady. Might get some side quest, but let's go talk to the doc real quick. Medical. Wish I could say it was good to see you, Ellie. At least you finally got your chance to square a debt. That ought to make you smile for once, huh? Nothing makes me happier than being even. Except being right. That's nice, too. Talk to Got Jesse word from here. Udom, from the hitman who trailed me the other night. Seems I'm indentured to the board now. I ain't too elated about going exclusive, but it's better than winding up dead. You sure saved my skin, stranger. All debts between me and Ellie are cleared. Watch yourself while I'm gone. All right. Ellie? The good news came through the wireless. Looks like you paid my debt to Jesse. I guess that means I owe you now, right? Tell you what, I'm a little short on bits at the moment, but I'm a decent scrapper and a better than average sawbones. If you're looking for a medic, I can work my debt off. Are you saying you'll work for me just because I helped Jesse? You really don't like owing people, do you? It's like people touching a cookie and leaving it in the box. It's just one of those things that gets under my skin. All right, welcome aboard. Or are you saying you'll... Okay, I don't know. All right, welcome aboard, Ellie. You won't be sorry. Though it looks like you've got a full roster already. Time to play favorites, Captain. Meet me on the ship. It's docked by the promenade. Hmm. Do I want to take Ellie along? Or Pravati? Pravati is engineering. Vicar Max, I'll catch up with you on the ship later. 
Okay, meet me on the promenade. Traveling in style, are we? I'll be sure to nab a cabin with a view. Welcome to the crew, Miss Ellie. We're real happy to have you. Oh, she disappeared just like that. That's a crazy outfit, man. Crazy outfit. Okay. Doc, I can purchase from you now, right? Uh, hello. June Lay called up from engineering. Said I should let you buy medical supplies from our stores. Now, is there something I can help you with? What do you got for trade? A better selection than you'll find on the promenade deck. And a quality commensurate with a friend of the station. Uh, let's sell some of this. Oops. Sell, sell, sell. Clothing. Let's, uh, sell. 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 Retrofit heavy power armor. Hephaestus. Ooh. Okay, let me get rid of these clothing here. That's still a good one, so let's hang on to that for... A bit. This is a weird looking one. Um, let's get rid of that. Come back here. Is there anything we can get rid of here? What is this? This is a long gun. You know, I'm going to hang on to the weapons as they are currently. Because I want to make sure I can kick some butt. Because I'm going to get new... Um, Let me sell it all. Get some new uh, uh, companions. Um, yeah, these 15 seconds are useless to me because by the time I realize that I'm trying to do something, I'll... Next step, get rid of it. Get rid of it. Get rid of that. I'm gonna get rid of that. Yes, all of it. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Junk. Junk. Yes. Stimulation. Get rid of that. Just need health. Health stuff. I don't need to carry around all of that. This caffeine drinks. There's certain things I guess I should keep. You know, like brain, the like conversation thing. Let me do. Let me do a quick. So all the junk. Oh, I got a, a gob load of stuff. All right, we we did as much as we can here. So let's um. I think I need to head back to the ship because well that's Gladys I got enough to buy the, the key the nav key I need to get on that table oh look um, this here's a long gun does damage 62 94 66 Ain't bad. This ain't bad. Bridgewater? That ocean stink. No, I do not. Sorry about that. Got distracted for a second there. Um This is an energy gun. But it's a long rifle. We could increase the size of the magazine on this one. So let's take a look at it. Install mod. So this is going to increase the magazine size, right? Up three. I'll take it. Cannot be removed. Optics. Extendo sight. The 2X. 
range weapon mod sight increase weapon accuracy modification modifications no I think I'm gonna keep it the way it is right there um, this shotgun could use a better barrel I suppose I got six of these fun time barrels so I might as well use it yes and the magazines mag 2 power I'm changing it to plasma no I don't want to do that zap well this is well this is a shock so either one I'm gonna have to do something right All right, so did I already do this one? Yes. I didn't put a sight on here because I didn't want to put a sight on it. At least not yet. That's an energy. I should put a magazine You're on You're supposed that. to say yes and go on to explain why. I just want to have a conversation. Let's repair everything. Repair all. Except. Is there anything I want to break down? At least not at this time. Repair. Did I run out of repair? <laughs> I guess I did. Weapons of parts. Of course you do. Um. That's light. There's two of these, so let's break this down. Energy. Yeah, I don't need that. Yes. Mm, let's break this one down too. Yes. Um. Oh, look! I got forgot. I had a. Oh my gosh! I'm over time. Over time. Let's let's see here. Let's bring up our leadership. Add one to that. Let's add a couple more to attack. I, I love stealth and let's do persuasion uh, let's do the range thing okay since we can do that let's do the persuasion add one more to persuasion or dialogue I got one left so let's add it to tech and we have oops we apply accept and we got a perk I got these already. Okay, let's take a look at some of this. Walk speed increase, yes. <coughs> Walk speed increase, that would be good to have. I think I like that. All right, so Pravati. Oh, we have, we have some here? We have nothing though. So let's take a look at Pravati. She has an upgrade for us. Uh, perk point. Increase your chance of looting mobs when Pravati is in the party. What? Increase your chance of looting. I'm sorry. Looting mods. Uh, increase damage dealt by companions when using melee weapons. Increase this companion's base armor rating. Increase damage dealt by this companion when using ranged weapons. Yes. I agree. And let's take a look at Vicar Mar Max. Um, ranged weapons. I agree. Because I'm a ranged guy. 
And we are going to leave it right there, ladies and gentlemen. I don't want to run back into the ship right now. I'm going to leave it right there. We'll come back. And on the next episode and continue with uh, all the stuff we need to do here. There's a lot to do. And I want to at least take a little bit of time doing it. I know some of these um, episodes are a little bit slower because it's, it's uh, dialogue heavy. And I think... Uh, we need to explore some of that dialogue because there's a lot of dialogue here and we haven't even touched this portion of it yet, Sublight. So we'll come back on the next episode and we'll explore a lot of more of these and do some more quests. Um, appreciate you joining me on this episode today. If you like my kind of goofy content, make sure you click on subscribe and click on that bell to get notified when I upload new content. And I hope to see you folks back here on future episodes. Until then, have a good one.